hey guys, I have just finished reading Seed by Lisa Heathfield and it's an excellent, excellent book. So the author used to be an English teacher and this ties in really, really well with everything that I've been telling you about just a little bit of reading each day, increasing your literacy skills, which is going to um, like increase your ability to do well in exams basically. So I kind of I kind of like this book a little bit better just because it was written by an, like a former English teacher. Now this may not apply to you, but I like it a little bit better because of that. So Seed, um, the title of the book, comes from the collective or the cult that the, the characters live in. So our main character is Pearl and she lives in Seed and it's a really really interesting concept because you're seeing this cult um, from the perspective of the inside out. So Pearl's grown up in this, she's always been there, she's never known anything different, she doesn't think what is going on is unusual, it's just what happened, it's what's always happened. It's a, it's a culture based around um, living very closely with nature, um, there are like, you know, elders, so you have to like follow the rules of what they do. The family structure is not very traditional, so you don't have like a mother and a father and then siblings. It's kind of, it's very open. Um, but everyone in there seems very content, it's a very comfortable lifestyle. Um, it's a very sheltered lifestyle from the outside world, so there's no like media interruptions, there's no media pressure on um, teenagers as they're growing up, and there's no influence from the outside world. Now this is quite a sensitive issue to write about because even though to like me, where I live in kind of like, you know, southeast England, you know, like a um, new housing estate, it's very built up, um, there are lots of people, I use lots of social media, the whole idea of not having any influence from the outside world just seems completely alien to me. But this is going on in the world today. There are um, cults where people, you know, um, don't have influences from the outside. They follow what the elders do. This is happening today. So it is quite um, a culturally sensitive issue. Um, but you've got to understand that the, the experiences that these people go through could be very, very similar to what um, is happening in the book. Now, it is quite a, a sinister book. It's a little bit creepy. So if you're a bit sensitive, maybe this isn't the right book for you. But the characters in it bring it to life really, really well. There's excellent, excellent character development in this book. Now, the two main narrators are Pearl and this other woman, and we don't really know um, who she is. She's been um, locked away in a room, um, and we kind of like see things from Pearl's perspective and from this other perspective. So kind of like a uh, perspective where everything's all lovely and rosy and a perspective where everything isn't all lovely and rosy. And the, the cult stays very happy, very comfortable until some outsiders come in. And then we get um, like other people coming in, bringing in what they know from the outside world, questioning things about society, about the society that Pearl's growing up in, which then leads Pearl to question things about the society that she's grown up in. So this is a really good book to read because it gives you um, a new perspective on things that are happening today. While we may um, look at something, you know, how could they believe that or how could they be doing that? If this is what was portrayed as normal to you, then you wouldn't ever question doing what what you're told and this is a really good thing for society today just because society says something is normal just because society says something is right if you don't feel it is right doesn't mean you have to follow what they are doing you should always question what is being told to you this is how things develop this is thing how things move on by people asking questions not by people sitting back and accepting everything that they are told and the ending of this book is definitely worth reading for. So there's another little suggestion for you to go, it's like 15 minutes a day, that's all I'm asking, just a little bit of reading. Um, it is a really good book, it's definitely worth buying or getting from the library. Um, I hope you like it.